So Derek, tell me what you found out from the small business consultant. Well, I went and talked to the guy and he said to start my own business, I'd have to work like 16 hour days, six days a week. He said I'd have to start a website and hang flyers and I don't really know how to do any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I just thought that my customers would be the people I'm already helping, but I guess that's not how it works. So it didn't go great. But on my way out, I ran into my cousin and he said uh, that I should just go apply for uh, a job at Tribal Housing and you know I think I could do that and work on my own. Well it's great. Um, sounds like the small business thing might not be as feasible. Um, sounds like you might have to work a lot more hours than might even be available in the area. Mm -hmm. um, but it sounds like you've been exploring which is good. You've been doing some networking. Sounds like you talked with your cousin. Yeah you know he said for that job all I'd need is like a toolbox and some specific tools like channel locks and uh, I already have all that stuff, so that's great. He also said I'd need a driver's license. I could worry about that later. I think that would be a better idea than trying to start my own business. So are you looking at full-time employment with housing? Probably, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you know if there's any openings there right now? My cousin said they're always looking for a good handyman, so I think I would be a good fit there. Sounds like you're pretty decided on your goal and sounds like working for housing is what you wanna do. I think so, yeah. Great. Well, we can take a look at the job description together, um, but based on what you're telling me, I'm thinking about what we can put into your plan for employment, um, things that address the employment barriers we talked about earlier, and it sounds like you already know some of the things you might need and that you already have some of those. Yeah, you know, I've got good tools, um, but my boots are kind of old, and uh, yeah, I still don't have that driver's license. Okay, that driver's license. Is that a requirement for the job? Uh, yeah. Uh, since it was revoked, I haven't paid any of the fines. Um, I can't really afford it. Okay, what do you know about your fines? It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they would work with you to set up a payment plan. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if it's a requirement of the job, we can take a look together and see what it's going to take for you to get your license back. Okay, yeah. Um, could you guys just pay it for me? Like, I can't even afford to start a payment plan. Unfortunately, our agency is not permitted to pay any kind of fines, um, but what we could have you do, if you set up a payment plan and if you make your first payment, um, we can probably pay for the reinstatement fees, mm -hmm. and those are usually pretty substantial. Uh, so what I'm going to have you do is to work with GA, your counselor at GA, and then see if there's any other tribal programs that might be able to help you pay for some of those fines. Okay, that'd be great. Um, could you guys help me get some new boots? Mine are full of holes. Yeah, definitely. That is something that we can help you get is some new boots. Thinking about what else you might need, I know that you said that you've been taking care of Krista a couple of days a week. Yeah. Um, have you been able to find uh, childcare resources for her? You know, childcare is really expensive, so I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. Yeah, um, it's definitely expensive. Um, do you know any any resources that might be able to help? Do you have like a family member or have you looked into like the after school programs like Boys and Girls Club? Um, you know, maybe I could ask my mom. Maybe she could watch Krista like a day or two a week. Great, okay. Well, let's see, if we think about a timeline for this, if the job is open now and you probably wanted to start working yesterday, mm -hmm. um, we will have to finalize your IPE and considering your work history, we'll want to include some career counseling skills. Um, we can focus on on-the-job search skills, things like filling out a resume, um, completing an application, um, doing interview skills, those kinds of things. Um, and then it's really important that you continue your participation in the outpatient treatment program with Dr. Rogers. Yeah. Is there anything that we can do to support you in your continued participation in that kind of stuff, like the men's group you've been going to? You know, I don't know. I actually like it quite a bit. You know, we use culture to support sobriety in each other, and um, it's great. Like last week, we did a sweat. I like a lot of the guys that go there. You know, I'm not sure I need, I need any help with that. Okay, great. If you start to work more hours and things, it could be difficult for you to just maintain your same level of commitment, so we'll just keep an eye on that. Um, but from what you've told me about the job, um, sounds like you're going to need some experience working on roofs. And when we first met, that was something you were interested in. Um, so what we can do is look at the possibility of getting some on-the-job training. Um, I can work with the housing supervisor there and get you connected and see if they can provide those skills for you. What we do is we pay them and then they train you to get the skills that you need for um, that roofing stuff. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good.